Hi everyone, welcome back to the Culture Bucket Podcast, the universe's best and greatest uh, podcast uh, that everyone loves, uh, with your two great good best friends, George and Alex. This week is another uh, Black Mirror mini episode, uh, as we are discussing all of the episodes of season six of Black Mirror. Um, so I hope you enjoy that when we get into that in a moment Uh, but before we get to the good stuff I'd just like to remind you to please go and rate and review us everywhere you can Uh, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube etc etc tell your friends about us, get people listening, we'd really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you for more full-sized normal episodes after our summer vacation Um, I hear a rumour that Alex is turning pretty I I already did that last summer, so that's fine. Right, we'll see you. We'll see you in September. Love you very much. Enjoy the episode. <laughs> Finally, turning pretty at thirty eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's never too late to turn. Never pretty. too late to turn pretty. Okay. Uh... Two friends just made a podcast. Two good friends just made a podcast. Hi and welcome back everyone to episode number 118 now we're on of the Culture Bucket podcast. We're doing our Summer of Mirror, where we're talking about every episode of Black Mirror Season 6 and our thoughts and opinions. So far, we've discussed um, three episodes, and now today we're on to episode four, and I'll be discussing it. And my name is George. With me is your co-host, Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, George. Hi, Hi, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. So, mazy day. Mazy day. Mazy day. Um... Logline for this from the AME article we've been using is uh, a troubled starlet, Maisie, is dogged by invasive... Uh, dogged, good uh, pun. Oh, a nice pun. A troubled starlet, Maisie, is dogged by invasive paparazzi while dealing with the consequences of a hit-and-run incident. Um, more specifically, this episode does follow Maisie Day, played by an actress I didn't know, Clara Rugard. Mm. Um as, yeah, she attempts to escape uh, the gaze of the paparazzi. But we follow more specifically one member of the paparazzo, Bo, played Bo. by uh, an actress that you and I both really enjoy, Zazie yeah. Beats. Uh, yeah. Seen regularly in Atlanta, uh, Joker. Uh, what else has she been in? Uh, Deadpool 2 she's in. Um, she's great. I love Zazie Beats. Mm. Um, and there's a few other actors in this, but Zazie Beats is kind of the main thing to see. This is the shortest episode of the season by far. Yes. 40 minutes long. Um, it benefits from being shorter. Yeah. And that's just about all it benefits from. Um, it transpires over the course of the episode. They're looking for Maisie Day. This is a, this is a, um, a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's set in a specific era. It's a period piece. Ah, yes. It's set in 2006. Ah, Yes. Uh, just before everyone had a smartphone, during yeah. peak era of paparazzi, chasing down Britney Spears, chasing down yeah. everyone. Um, this was the era of true paparazzi TMZ kind of stuff. Um, Bo is doing it to get by, but she doesn't. She clearly doesn't really love doing it uh, because it makes her want to die inside. Because it's a horrible yeah. thing to do with your life. Um, and she. Uh, Manages to track down this missing starlet, Maisie Day, uh, yeah. in, who is in this kind of uh, centre. We see early on in the episode that Maisie Day has been involved in a hit and run, and we assume that she's yeah. in, sort of in hiding uh, due to uh, the psychological impact of, of, of what's happened to her. We discover, in fact, no, she's a werewolf. She's a werewolf. She's a werewolf. She ran over a werewolf, she got bitten, now she's a werewolf. Yeah. Um, I really disliked this episode what did you think of it uh yeah i thought it was not not good no it doesn't really make a point it doesn't have anything to say no like it it makes a point of the paparazzi being too much but that's that's that... yeah 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 that but that's the thing the point they're trying to make the paparazzi being too much but we know that um from the beginning 2006 
and having had a camera since I was little, trying to put photos on a computer in 2006 take, took about half an hour. And uh, the first scene where Zazie Beats takes a picture and then puts the photos in, 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 a, in a, she puts a card reader in the card and then she, the photos are uploaded to her computer in three nanoseconds and then she closes the computer without even switching it off. In 2006, that's impossible. You lost everything, man. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. I so mean, from that moment, I was like, oh. I'm all right with that, though, because what would you prefer them to to really show the length of time that takes in full? No, in you, just, you, just, you just take the picture and then drive off. Mm-hmm. It was pointless. Fair that enough. moment was pointless. Fair enough. Um, I think it's the shortest episode of uh, Black Mirror ever. Is it? Um, yeah, forty minutes. It, like I don't know. He must. I don't know why he didn't finish writing the script and be like, "This isn't really enough, is it? I need to, like this should have been scrapped, and they should have thought of something else." Because it's. I just don't think there's anything to this episode. No, it's really like, boring. It makes no sense. Yeah, like you know, I understand you want you want to talk about the paparazzi and everything. It would have been nice if like she killed all the paparazzi at the end. That would have been amazing. Sure. You know, something a bit more substantial than just her turning into, uh, turning into a, a werewolf. Mm, mm. And is there anything about this episode that maybe can enlighten us? Uh, the song Supermassive Black Hole by Muse is featured in it. And that song is yeah. also in the Twilight franchise that has werewolves in it. Wow. That's an early okay. hint that she's a werewolf. Oh, okay. Let's see what the enemy has to say. Um, if you love Twilight, you'll be happy. Blah, 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 blah. Supermassive black hole. Uh, there's a reason it's set before iPhones. Um, <sighs> photographic proof could have been photoshopped or even conjured by AI now, but in 2006 it would have been... I don't know. No, there's nothing. There's nothing. This episode is nothing. It's so nothing and empty um a real shame uh because the other episodes i don't know the other episodes are all f- have some there's all there's something in them right this one yeah well this one is just saying you know paparazzi would do anything for a photo and they'll you know they'll even die for a photo because a couple of them <laughs> died well, three of them die towards the end, and the paparazzi are terrible people, mm-hmm. and they're awful, which we know. So, if that's what, or if that was a point, you know, we we know paparazzi are terrible. Yeah, the coffee shop Bo and Hector work at is called Yorkies. Yorkies, the name of one of the two protagonists of another Black Mirror episode, San Junipero. That's the level of trivia that IMDb are throwing up. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about this. I rank it at the bottom of the episode so far. It's a shame because I love Zazie Z- Z- Beats. Yeah, I was excited when she popped up at the start. I was like, oh, yeah. Zazie Beats is in this. I'm, this is good. I'm down for this. But um, no, it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything. The werewolf transformation looks okay. They put some, yeah. they put some money into that. Yeah. When you see Maisie transform into a werewolf. Um, but I feel like if you wanted to do an episode about the problems with paparazzi in 2006... You could have maybe there would be other directions that you could take it in. Um, yeah, this feels very route one, and it doesn't feel like the idea of Maisie Day transforming into a werewolf doesn't feel like it's linked in any way to the paparazzi thing. It doesn't feel like it's um like they've not hounded her. Like if if she was being chased by paparazzi and that's what led her to run the person over, that might have been more of a link. I don't know. Yeah, but it just felt feels like very out of nowhere. Like when she started turning into wealth, I was like, what is this? Why are, yeah. we, why are we doing this? Um, exactly. And then that whole scene at the end, therefore in the, in the cafe where they're all hiding from the werewolf, just, it was just felt like nothing. I just had nothing to, to say about it. Yeah. Um, mm, what do you think could have been done different? I, that I don't know. I'm not Charlie Brooker. My ideas are probably even worse. Maybe like the, 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 the paparazzi's, Photos are somehow stealing the essence of the celebrity uh, in some way, a Dorian Gray type of thing or something like that. Mm. Or maybe, um, I don't know, unexpectedly the, the paparazzi photos of her turning into a werewolf make people like her even more. 
and she becomes mm. a, I don't I don't know but I feel like you could workshop something better than this eventually do you have any ideas definitely no werewolves definitely no werewolves definitely no werewolves yeah so I would definitely rank it like you at the bottom at the bottom fair play yeah. alright well, that's my easy day. Let's not talk about it any further. No. Uh, thank you for joining us this week to discuss it. If you watched it to prepare for this, I apologise. Um, but, you know, everything's, a, everything's an experience. Uh, we'll see you next week for the last episode of Season 6, which is Demon 79. Um, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Love thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.